Hey everybody, welcome to StarCraft 2, episode 4.5. Um, if you liked me on Facebook, you probably read one of the posts in which I will now have 0.5 in my videos. 0.5 is the episode where I go through the Hyperion and basically talk to everybody, get all the upgrades, just do a lot of the small stuff. And then the actual number, like 5, will be the actual mission that comes up. So in case any of you are just watching these so you want all the missions, well, uh, go to 5. <laughs> if you actually want to know the complete story, well, you came to the right place. Great job, sir. Dr. Hansen's offered to stay on with us for now, and I think her skills will be invaluable. It's hard to believe I'm even here. Great to have you, Doc. How are you planning on pitching in? Well, your medical facilities are medieval, and your science expertise is non-existent. Perhaps I could start there. Ouch. Well, I guess you might be able to teach Stedman a thing or two. Welcome aboard, Doc. Thirty-four minutes later. Welcome to the bar. Guess you heard the news by now, Rainer. Looks like you're back in business. That I am, Mr. Hill. And fighting the Zerg and Dominion all at once is gonna take its toll on my standing forces. You got any guns for hire? But you know the invasion makes it a seller's market right now. Still, your bartender over there makes a hell of a Mai Tai. So, sure, I've got some mercenary contracts you might be interested in. You're all heart, Mr. Hill. Alright, welcome to the cantina. In this situation, I can come talk to him and I can buy 12 extra marines. These are mercenaries. Basically, they're stronger than the regular ones. They cost a bit more to summon, but they're instantly summoned. Which is really good for having in your army in case you want to boost it up a little bit for infantry. You can actually click on the different ones, actually see a little bit of what they do. So, anyway. Alright, welcome to the cantina there's an arcade game over there that game is hard as hell I'll probably play that a little bit later but for right now let's talk to Tychus you meet Dr. Hansen yet? sure did I asked that sweet thing if she'd like to give me a physical no harm in asking right? I think she's got her eye on some pansy ass though yeah? who might that be? oh I don't know some white knight kind of guy came charging down to save a colony, maybe. Damn, Jimmy. You never could read the ladies. <laughs> hey, welcome to uh, the eye pistol. Yeah. Hey, who's screw iPads, man? iPods, man. Get the eye pistol. Anyway. Donny Vermillion, UNN. We've got Kate Lockwell on remote feed from Agria, a fringe colony. Are you there, Kate? Okay, we... Seem to be having a sound problem with... I'm being told Emperor Mansk is going to address us directly. Let's take you to his announcement already in progress. My finest military minds are being brought to bear, and it's my pleasure to announce that they'll soon be led by the hero of Taurus himself, General Horace Warfield. Warfield? I thought he retired years ago. With General Warfield at the helm, and our finely honed Dominion military under his command, I have every confidence that this new Zerg threat will be contained very soon. There you have it, viewers. With Warfield in command, the Zerg swarm will be defeated in no time. Up next, Raynor ups his campaign of terror just as the Zerg reappear. Coincidence? You decide after these messages. Shut up, Tom Tucker. No one cares. All right. Anyway, I should really. Funny. Yep. Thought I'd left this behind on Marsara. I should really take this down. Thought I'd left this behind on Marsara. How did? T Buy a girl a drink. Man, old Cooper sure makes a mean mai tai. Jimmy, I thought you liked those. They're winning entry for the Zircon a few years back. Maybe they'll bring you luck. Joey Ray owner, property of Joey Ray's bar. Marsar. P.S. I'll add the TV to your tab. 
Remember at the beginning, you actually shot the TV. Anyway, I don't want to buy the rest of the mercenaries, because I'm going to go to the armory. Let's get some upgrades. Just keep those colonists out of my armory. That's yeah. Since we got the fire bat, he now appears back here. You can actually read up on him. If you want, just pause it, then read it. Fire bats, uh, washes off the skin of the bone, the of the soul. Clears away dirt. My mama didn't raise herself. No dirty boy. Basically, these dudes are just giant badass flamethrowers. <laughs> anyway. Armory console. Peace. Bunker. Increases the range of all units in the bunker by one. Increases the number of bunker slots by two. Basically, you can hold double the marines. Actually, medics. Oh, upgrading the medics. Yeah, let's go with no longer require tech labs in order to make them. And let's go with two more. Well, go for the bunker upgrade and the medic upgrade. Save a lot of time. Hanson. I've heard a lot about you, Commander. The Dominion always portrayed you as a criminal, terrorist. There's more to you than it seems. Well, with the Dominion being what it is. Someone's got to stand up for the little guy. Sure ain't gonna be Mengsk. Doesn't seem like the Emperor cares at all. My people from Agria and displaced populations from across the sector have all fled to a refugee staging area on Meinhof. There are reports of violence and disease spreading throughout the camps, but the Emperor's done nothing. I'll look into it, Doc. <laughs> Alright. If you may notice the mission archives, uh, these are just allow you to go back and replay missions. Like, if you want the achievements, you can go back and play them. But, you know, never really bothered. It sure felt good rescuing those folks. But there's millions more out there that need help, too. We can't be everywhere at once, sir. The important thing is that we set an example and gave them hope. Every time we help folks in need, it's another step on the road to a better future. I know, Matt. But it's been four years and we're still no closer to bringing Minx down. Now with the Zerg back in the mix, your better future needs to hurry up and get here, or there's going to be no one left to see it. <laughs> Alright, mission time! Alright, Meinhof, Molith, and Redstone 3. Jim, refugee populations from across the sector have been using Meinhof as a staging point. But with so many people in close proximity, an epidemic of some kind has started sweeping through the camps. Please. My people need help. We've got to do something before it's too late. The Mobius boys think there's another artifact on a world called Monlith. Supposedly there's Protoss got in it. A group of fanatics call themselves the Taldarim. Now don't get all sentimental thinking these Taldarim are your old Protoss buddies. Because they ain't. Yeah, Jim used to work with some Protoss back in the day. They ended up saving his life in the original game. Redstone 3. The mighty Jim Rainer's on the move, but short on funds. The planet Redstone's got the most valuable minerals around. And with the Zerg invasion, the Kilmorians backed up and left it all behind. Some enterprising men could turn a big profit there. Meet me at Redstone if you want a piece of the action. Alright, there's three different ones. That was, uh, Gabriel Tosh. Uh, if you go, if you do this mission, then you can get Reapers. You do this, you get Marauders. You do this mission, you get Hellions. You can ultimately do any one you want, but this one is a main mission. As in, it's the main part of the storyline. So I am actually going to do the Redstone 3. Gather up some minerals. It's the simplest out of everything. You know what? <laughs> I could use a little bit of extra cash before I go on to the uh, major fights, because I know with these two, these two are going to be a pain. So, anyway, we're going to be doing Redstone 3 next time, because this is just the story one. Click on 5 to get ready for some action. See you guys next time.